bless you all my sister all over the world all the children of god uh as you know my name is clara Natongo. i just want to share with you this song that touched my heart each time i go before lord i think about this song because jesus has done a lot in my life jesus has changed me i just want you to listen to this song to the words of this song and i pray that as you are listening jesus is going to touch you today you know if you come to christ he's going to change the, your whole life me i was a prostitute people call me all sort of name but jesus made me a brand new person hallelujah so he make impossible things to become possible i pray my sister that as you are watching this this video you are watching you are listening to this song god is going to touch your heart my advice to you Surrender all your life to Jesus. Everything. God bless you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God bless you in the name of Jesus. I am Claire Anduna Tongo, and I want to say Happy New Year to all my sisters, all the virtuous women in Christ, all those that have given their life to Jesus, and they are living a new life in Christ Jesus. My sister, may the Lord bless you, and I pray that this year is going to be a new year, a year of a new beginning, a year of a practical holiness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's pray before we start. Everlasting Father, King of glory, I give you all the glory, Jesus. Thank you because you have been there for us. You have been there from the beginning. You have been there all the time. You have been there, Almighty God, from January, February, March, April, till today, God, you have shown us your wonders. You have shown us your love. You have shown us, Lord, Papa, how you care for us, oh, Jesus. You don't want any one of us to perish, but you want all of us, oh, God, to repent and to make heaven, oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for you have been there for us. You have been leading us, oh God, unto your righteousness, unto your holiness, oh God. Because in your word, you say your word that be ye therefore perfect. Because I, your father, I am perfect, oh God. Lord, we thank you for that perfection. You are you you, you are bringing us in, into your perfection every day of our life, oh God. We give you all the glory. Now, oh God, as I'm about to speak to your daughters, to speak to your children. Lord, I pray, come and take over my mouth. Father, speak to each one of us, and I pray, let this message wake all the virtuous women all over the world, all your daughters all over the world, for us to go to where you have prepared us. In the name of Jesus, I cover this video in the mighty blood of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. My sister, God bless you. I bless you. I'm so happy to hear from you. Hallelujah. Yes, I am here. I am here again. And I will never stop, my sister, to tell you this very truth. In the year 2011, September, the Lord showed me two mighty visions. Revelations. It was the first one was on June when God revealed to me the state of the church. How the church is so dirty. 
And, and I saw so many Christians, so-called Christian, calling themselves Christian, and they were waiting for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. And all of them, they were naked. I saw the way they were naked. I saw the way they were naked. And they were saying, Jesus, take us with you. Take us with you. And the Lord opened my eyes. I saw Jesus. Jesus was, was closing his eyes. And he would say, no, my church is dirty. My church is dirty. I can't go in. I can't go in. I can't go in. The church of Jesus. The church is dirty. When I saw this revelation, my brother, it really touched me. I was asking myself, with the multitude of Christians all over the world, many people are coming to Christ, church are filled up, Sunday is filled up, many services, night vigils, people are preaching, but still the Lord said, my church is dirty, something is going on. I began to pray until the Lord began to reveal to me many things that is happening in the church today, my sister. Today, in the name of Jesus, I am here to speak to you concerning something that is going inside the church. The church is so dirty, my sister. In 2011, that same year, the Lord revealed me something that I want to share with you, my sister. I want to share with you a little bit for you to understand where I'm coming from. I was a simple Christian like you. My on, only desire is to make heaven. I give my life to Jesus sincerely with all my heart because I want to enter the kingdom of God. I want to spend my eternity with Jesus. Throughout my journey to heaven, I had an encounter with Jesus. And this second one, I want to, to rewind. I don't know if you have watched the warning from God to all women. What I saw, I share it with all the women. I share it with all the churches. I want to, I want to a little bit remind you, watch. God bless you. On August, this year, 2011, the Lord visited me. In a, the, the Lord showed me. I, I saw myself going to see a pastor in his house. When I went inside that house, I asked the pastor that I want to drink water. The pastor asked me to go in the backyard to fetch some water. And in that backyard, there is a well. So when I was in the, in the backyard, I looked at that well. And the Spirit of God inside the dream told me that there is a strange power inside that well. So immediately, I start to pray. I say, in the name of Jesus, any strange power that is in this well, manifest yourself, manifest yourself, manifest yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus, manifest yourself. As I was saying like this, I noticed a, a, a woman came out from that well. She came out like this, very proud personality. And I noticed around her some little children. Then I, I was shocked. I said, I'm coming every time in this house to fetch water. Do you mean you are inside this, this well? She said, yes, I know you. What do you want from me? I said, who are you? She, I said, in the name of Jesus, come out from this well. In the name of Jesus, come out from this well. As I, I was saying that this fire come out from me to burn her. And she was resisting. She's doing like this. She says, you are not the one that invite me here. If you want me to go, go and ask all the sisters in Christ, all the women of God in the world. They are the ones that allow me to be here. I said, I look behind to see if there is a child, a, a woman of God around me. I was told in the dream that they went to buy some stuff in the market. Then I told, I, 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 I looked at that woman and I knew in the dream that she's the queen of the coast. I asked her, what is your mission? She said, her mission is to quench the fire of God into the life of pastors, of ministers of God. And then, then I, 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 I say, in the name of Jesus, come out, come out for that well. She, she, she insists by saying that if I want her to go,
go, I must ask all the women that allow her to be there. Those that those women are the one that can ask her to go because I was not the one that invited her there. So I tried to look who can fight this woman with me. I ran and I looked and saw a pastor. I said, Pastor, come, let us fight the queen of the coast. She's in the midst of the children of God and she's boasting. Let us fight her in the name of Jesus. The pastor came like this. He was holding a Bible in, in the hand. He said, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. But no fire. I said, Pastor, let's pray. Let's pray. And the queen of the coast started laughing. She said, look, you this pastor. The, the light of God in you is just like a candle. If I just make like this, and the light will go off. I said, Pastor, do you, can you listen? She's boasting, let fight. Then I, I start saying, in the name of Jesus. The woman said, I told you, if you want me to go, ask all the women of God in the world that, that allow me to be here. They are the one, they are the one that must ask me to go. Then I stood up. That was the end. I went back. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is um, the second revelation that Lord, the Lord gave to show me. The first one was the church. My church is dead. The second one is this, the queen of the coast sitting inside the well. The well represents the word of God. Inside the, the, the church. And um, I saw her. She was boasting. And she was telling me that because I was trying to chase her out from the church, from the well. And I saw she was with other, other little, little uh, uh, children. And she was telling me that you are not the one that will ask me to go. Because I was alone. And the fire that was coming out of me. You know, I was having that fire, that zeal to chase her out. But she was telling me that you are not the one that will ask me to go. If you want her, like she has a legal ground to be in the church. She has to, a legal ground to be where she is. And she was saying to me that if I want her to go, I must go and ask the women. The women are the ones that open the door. The women are the ones that allow her to ins enter inside the house of God. So these women are the one, my sister. That's why today I'm coming. I've been doing this work. I've been when when the Lord gave me after this, I had the Lord Himself send His messenger. He came and told me to go and warn the women, to tell the women that. The, as after giving their life to Jesus, the, Jesus must reflect in, in their character, not only the, the character, in their way of dressing, the body, this tent, this, this body, which is the temple of the Holy Ghost, must represent the Most High God. We must, we as the ambassador, ambassadors of Christ here on earth, just looking at us, we must reflect the glory of God. It is a shame today to see women the way we are dressing and we call ourselves children of God. The queen of the coast is saying that unless we, the women, we ask her to go, she will not go. She will not go. This is a very deep revelation, my sister. After this, after the Lord showed me the revelation that I'm going to share with you, I never slept. It was a do or die. The Lord told me that if I don't do this work, if I don't, if I get discouraged, the Lord said to me that I should do everything not to get discouraged because he sent two women before me and he told me that these women are still on earth. These women fail on their mission. I should make everything not to fail. And he told, me, he told me that these two women, I don't know who they are, they are somewhere in the world. These two women, they started like me, but they got discouraged. My sister, they, I am telling you that it is not a small task. Let me share to, with you what the Lord showed to me after this. Then we will come back. God bless you. But to God, I say, Father, what do you want me what is the meaning of this dream? Father, tell me what's the meaning of this dream. What is the queen of the coast doing in the, inside the house of God? And in that dream, the queen of the coast gave me the name of three pastors that she has already quenched the fire of God in them. I will not mention the name of those pastors. 
But those pastors, they, they still have church. They see, they, they see preach the gospel of God, but they don't know that the king of the gods has already quenched the fire of God in them. Brethren, this make me, I was shaking. I was afraid. And I asked God, Father, please explain me this dream again. Then on the 6th of September this year, I saw an angel of God. In the dream, I knew that she's an angel of God. I don't know why she came as a woman. And when she came, the, her, her hair was tied. She tied her hair. She covered her hair. Her face was without makeup. She 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 covered her chest, and and she has. I noticed that she has a long a, a long skirt, very long skirt. I had her. She was surrounded with clouds, and then she, she called my name. She said to me, "You are on the right way to heaven, the way of holiness." Without holiness, nobody can see God. And if she, when she was talking like this, she pointed the earth. She said, there are two women who started just like you. Those women are still on earth. This is what happened. When she said, this is what happened, I was able to see those women. I was able to understand what they are saying. They were talking to each other. This is what they were saying. Let us serve God in holiness and let us warn all the women of God. Let us tell them, show them how to dress according to the will, the, 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 the will of God. As they were, they were talking like this, I saw those two women going to, to the midst of other children of God. And those children of God, most of them were women. And all those children of God, they were praising God. Really, they were praising God. But what I noticed, those women, those 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 other sisters in Christ, they were praising God, but they were dressed like this world, like the fashion of the world. They put on trousers, uh, uh, wigs, earrings, makeup, you know, and those two, two women was keep on telling them the way you people are dressing, God does not like it. God does not like it. But those women of God refused to listen to them. Those two women got discouraged. They doubted. They start talking. They say, ah, maybe it's not God that sent us. Look at those sisters in Christ. They fear God. Although that they are dressed, the, the way they are dressed is not really godly, but they fear God. Is it really true that if they die now, they will not make heaven? Maybe it's not God that asked us to go and warn them. So they were doubting God. And the Spirit of God, the, the angel of God that was with me was angry. She said, that is the spirit of confusion among those two women. And then she turned, she turned and looked at me. She said, now you go. Warn those, uh, those women, those sisters in Christ that is in the world. Tell them about holiness. That without holiness, no eyes shall see the Lord. That I should, she tell me she to teach the other women how to dress. And then she added this to me. She said, anything you want to do for God, do it now. Then she added this. She said, there are some death, death in your life. Some restitution that you refuse to make. Make every effort to pay your debt. That's what, that's how the dream ended. I woke up, I woke up, it was around two o'clock. And I was, I was, I was shaking. Hallelujah. I was shaking. I told God, no, this is too much for me. Where am I going to start? Where, where am I going to see all these women and begin to warn them because this is thing is he was talking about all the women on earth and I was just a new I just gave my life to Jesus like two years where am I going to start my English was not good my French is long time I'm not speaking French again and where am I going to start and the Lord is speaking about holiness how the church is dirty how the queen of the cause is quenching the fire of God in the church because of women. We, the women, have allowed the queen of the cause to sit in the church. And the Lord is telling me that I should go and warn the women. My sister, I'm telling you, when God asks you to do something, do it. 
did not really encourage me. He came many times to me. He told me, he said, don't be afraid. I am with you. Go and tell my children. Go and tell my daughters. Go and tell them that this thing will make them to go to hellfire. I saw the Lord open my eyes. I saw a woman who missed heaven because of wig. You know, these fake hairs. The, and she was wearing makeup. She was wearing trousers. I am telling you, woman must not wear trousers. Whether it's tight, when, whether it's not tight, you should not wear it. It's not for us. So, this woman, she was, her name was not found in the book of life and she was crying. She was telling the angel, look very well. You know, I am a servant of God. When I was on earth, I was going to social -so church. And the, the angel of God said, yes. You were going to the church, but when they told you that drop trousers, drop, drop uh, uh, jewelry, drop makeup, drop uh, uh, fake hair, drop all those attachments, all those seductive, seductive apparel, you say, no, God does not look at the at, at the appearance. He look only the heart. Now, see these things I sent you to hell. I saw the way they told this woman in hell fire. It was not pleasing to see my sister. I cried. And the Lord told me, go and warn my children. My sister, it was not easy. What I went through, the angel of God told me that you are going to pass through fire, but fire is not going to burn you. I did not know what was waiting. I waited for me because the first thing I noticed is that is the people in the church that was fighting this message because they have been teaching people the wrong message for a long time, telling women that God does not look at their appearance. God look only the heart. My sister, how can the heart repent and the action does not repent? How can you say in your heart that you refuse, that you have repent of stealing, but your hands are still stealing? It is impossible because if truly in your heart, your heart have repent for not seducing men, even your body will not, will, will not enter into action. So the message that we teaching people is the wrong message. These are the people that begin to fight me. In, and some people, some women say, Claire, this message is so touchy. And we know it's from God, but nobody is preaching about it. Yes, it was a taboo. <laughs> no church. Even some churches started, like a, a regime church, they started preaching on, on it. And today they are, they are called on it. Only the, the uh, pastor and the boy wife that is dressing the whole regime, the whole place in regime, in Europe, all over, they dress anyhow. Churches are polluted. Uh, uh, deeper life in Africa they preach this truth but here in Europe the deeper life is polluted I remember one day I sent a sister I said look there are some churches who preach holiness go to deeper life she went to deeper life in Paris the pastor in Paris told the women that no this is the old way and this is happening only in Nigeria I pray that the Kumui replace that pastor in Paris uh, mountain of fire only in Nigeria, that women are dressing godly. Here in Europe, it is on, on, on godliness. Do you know what they are doing? When they hear that the G.O. is coming, uh, 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 that the Ulukoya, all of them, they will remove the earrings, they will remove the trousers, they will remove the makeup, and they will appear godly. Who are you lying? Who are you? You are playing with your own soul, my sister. You are playing with your soul. The church is so dirty. I saw Jesus was crying. He said, my church is dirty. And all of us, and we say, we, are, we say that we are waiting for the return of Jesus. That is what the Lord sent me. When God sent me, thank God I obey. My sister in the whole YouTube, no even single message preaching against Kaza. Not even single message preaching against jewelries. Not even single message preaching against makeup. No, the women, it was a strange message. People will call me. They will say, shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. You are shouting. Nobody, this, what kind of message is that? A pastor called me. People are calling me. A hey, sister said that, sister Claire, we are in our church. Pastor said that we should pray against you. Some people said that I am the woman in the revelation. This is, this is, this. That woman, I'm there to deceive people. I knew. The Lord said, don't, don't, don't get discouraged. Make sure. My sister, it was not easy. Nobody by my side. I enter Facebook. I begin to bombard people with the truth. I went to Facebook, making messages, making praying above all. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, my sister. This demon that, that are fighting the women, 
See the way Satan is dis dis destroying woman. We women, we are the, the number one enemy of the enemy of, of Satan. Satan hate us with perfect hatred. I was reading the testimony of one 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 uh, ex satanist. Let me read it to you, my sister. Um, yes, I want to read it. It's a portion of it. Uh, I pray that you. Yes, Lucifer. Uh, I will read. Yeah, Lucifer has three categories of enemy. The first category is the woman because she is the one who gave birth to the child who came to destroy the works of the devil because she is also the one who continued to give birth to the servants of God who destroy the works of the devil. The second category is anyone who obey God and hold the testimony of Jesus. So, we are in the first category. Woman. Today, they will use woman to do uh, uh, ad uh, um, makeup adversary. You see? Um, let's check. See? Makeup. They will use the devil in the world. Today, woman. Seductive apparel. They will use woman to do whatever they want to do. Woman. They will use women to do um, um, uh, 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 advert, 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 cons uh, uh, look, 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 look at, look at the dress. Look at dressing. And it pains me. Because even in the church, women are dressed like this. You go to all these so-called uh, holy church, so-called uh, uh, power church, so uh, church fire, church, uh, uh, living church, revival church. Women are dressing like this. Where do you think you are going? Without holiness, no man can see God. If you are serving God 99% and 1% is for Satan, you are not going to enter the kingdom of God. That is why I am here. Satan has tried so many times to destroy me. The Lord has opened my eyes. I've seen Satan enter my room. He sent somebody to come and kill me. I was sleeping. And the person, the dark demon stretched out his hand against my chest like this. He was doing incantation. And I heard a voice from heaven. The voice was saying that, Claire, stand and fight. When I stretched my hand against him, fire was coming out from my hand. I said in the name of Jesus, I, because, before I finished, he ran away. One day I was driving. It was around 10 p.m. in the night. I was going to Naivich as I was I was driving, a demon appeared from the bush. If, it's my, if my daughter is here, she will testify. A short man. He looked like age four. With a big head. Big head. Coming up, coming up from bush at that hour. No house around. He knew that I was pass through, I will pass, I will pass through that spot. With a long iron, very lion, uh, iron, you know, like a two meter. Heavy one. And he threw at the windscreen. His aim was for that iron to pierce my, 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 my neck so that I would die. But God diverted. And the iron went to the other side. He was standing in the middle of the road. He thought that the iron, he himself did not know where the iron passed. Went through. He thought that the iron entered my car. Because he was doing like this, thinking that I would, the car would stop. My children were screaming, Dimo, Dimo, Dimo. Because he looked like Dimo, short man with big head. Big head. The enemy has tried to kill me. In my sleep, I will see some demons. They will, they will be doing incantation. They will say, look, you, you are not going to wake up. You are not going to wake up. And then in that dream, I will tell them, I am the servant of the most God. Nobody can harm me. What the Lord has asked me to do, I will do. It is enough. Women are going to hell. Nobody will stand up. I was alone. As I began to pray. Jesus. Raise up people, raise up people, raise up women, raise up men that will come with these revelations, that will come with these visions. Oh, YouTube, no messages. The Lord answer my prayer. Testimony, revelations, visions all over YouTube. God, ah, we are serving the living God. God, touch Linda. I think it's one year after. Touch uh, Mar Margaret Amule. Begin to touch, 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 touch even children. 
today, nobody can say that what I received was not from God. And the work has not stopped. Why? The queen of the gods said, if we, I want her because I am the one that was studying. I am the one that was pushing. I am the one that was asking her to go. And fire was coming out. She said, if you want me to go, ask the women. So I am here today. All the women that have been transformed by this message, wherever you are, it is not by chance you came through this, this video. God allow you to see this video so that you will wake up, my sister. But let us see the way Satan is manipulating women. Maybe you don't understand. I was one of them. I was one of the women that was manipulated by Satan. But today I say, thank God. The Bible said that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. I am free indeed in the name of Jesus. And if I am free, I will, I will, I will not see my other sister going to hell and stand like this. No. My sister, that is, that is greediness. You are safe and you don't want other sister to be safe. Don't mind what they're saying. Because I was one of them. When I was blind, I did not know I was blind. So our duty, women, is to gather ourselves and pray. To remove that so-called woman, queen of the coast. That demon. The queen of the coast in the church. Sitting inside the church. She is sitting inside the church. Her, her, her work is to quench the fire of God in the life of women. Or the men of God. Look at her. Look at her. That is how she look. That is how she... She... she are you arguing? Are you arguing? Okay. I want to share with you a video. A video by the grace of God that people that does not know God, they is, is in France. They try to... Oh, I'm looking for the video. Yes. I'm looking for the video. I will find it in Jesus' name. So these people, they have a, a shop in France, it's a well-known shop, well-known, uh, uh, big, big magazine in France. So, they try to, what they do is, they try to advert the, the, the shop. So, and look at the, the kind of advert. I, I'm looking for that video. Oh, my Lord. Oh, make, make me find the video. Make me find the video. Hallelujah. I will find it in Jesus' name. I will find it in Jesus' name. So the title of that uh, video is called Sephora. It's a woman, and that and in that shop they sell makeup, they sell uh, um, all those things like uh, uh, jewelries. They sell uh, and now, and the woman they are using in that shop, it is the queen of the coast herself. They took the picture of a woman that look like the queen of the coast. And they did a video. Amen. I'm still looking for the video, for the, for the uh, message. Uh -huh, I've seen it. Praise the Lord. So I want to share it with you, my sister. Look at, look at the video. The music coming there, I, the music is not a godly music, but I'm showing you for you to know that the video was not made by us. The video was made by, by people that are well known in this world and they are doing they are doing advert of their shop the shop is a shop where they sell makeups jewelries all those creams all those seductive apparel i'm telling you this because the queen of the coast is the one that is sitting on these things and this thing has taken over all of the, all the church children of god you see a true child of god a woman of god making up Changing the face, putting on another face, which is not a true face. We are getting there. Look at the shop. Look at. You got a word to say, just a simple word. And I will stand by your side for a good word.
Okay, let me rewind now. You see the kid of course? Okay. Look at this picture. Who who are you seeing here? Okay. Who are you seeing here? This is a magazine in France. This video is just they call it avant premiere. They are they are doing it for 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 because of um they did it uh, uh, because of um, Christmas. So to advertise their product, they have to represent the god of their shop. The queen of the course is the one sitting in all these evil products. When I'm telling women, I say we the Bible said that we should not love the world. Neither the things that are in the world. I am getting there, my sister. Therefore, all these things, all these things, like makeups, as not from are not from a child of God should not put on these things. These things are the apparel, the things of the queen of the coast. Queen of the coast is putting these things so that women will look more attractive, more seductive, and men will begin to fall into sin. Men will begin to masturbate. Men will begin to commit adultery. Women will begin to masturbate. They will commit adultery. That is the aim of Satan. Now, when you come to Jesus, my sister, there must be a difference between you and that kind of woman. I, I will never get tired to tell you this truth. Hallelujah. So, the queen of the coast is the one that is enticing women. The spirit of the queen of the coast has entered the church. I want to share with you a church. In a Sunday church, women are praising God. Look at the way they are dressing. You will see, most of them, they are putting on makeup. Most of them, they are putting on trousers. I even see the choir, they put you tight. Tight. My sister, you know tight. You see the whole vagina is there designed like that. The whole shape of the woman is designed at the altar. At the altar. How can't you tell me that the queen of the cross is sitting in the church? My sister, the demon is sitting in the church. Satan is sitting in the church. That all that praise is not going to God. When I read the testimony of that ex-Satanist, you need to listen in. Listen to that testimony. It's on my YouTube. Ex, the title is I serve the devil. Listen to it. The man said, more many of those churches, their praise and worship goes to Satan. Because God will never take what that doesn't belong to him. Our God is such a holy God. Now, listen. Listen to this video. May the Lord bless you. At, look at the outfit of this woman in the church. Even the singer herself. What is the difference between this woman and this woman? And this and this one? What is the difference? There is no difference, my sister. There is no difference. There is, I don't see any difference between that woman and this, this woman. I don't see the difference. I don't see the difference. There must be a difference between Delilah and Deborah. When you come to Christ, you become you, you are a new creature. It is it not, you know, my sister, I am telling you, all these people that are calling the name of Jesus without living in holiness, they are not going to see God. Hebrew chapter 12, verse 14. Without holiness, no man shall see God. No man. Without holiness, no man shall see God. None of them. None of them. Children of God, dressing ungodly in the church, and they say that they are going to see God. They are not going to see God. They are not going to see God. Unless they repent, they are not going to see God. It, 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 it's too much. Church, church members, let, let us watch the video. Let us watch the video. It, 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 it makes me cry. 
cry. It makes me cry. The abomination is too much. Look at, look at. And the queen of the court said that. The queen of the court is saying that for her to come out, these women must give up. And it's true. And it's true. She said that, why are you chasing me? I am here because these women allow me to come inside. So if you want me to go, they must ask me to come out. These women, many of them, I'm telling you, it's just the grace of God. That is why I'm calling all the women that have changed today. It is time we gather. Let us gather. And pull down the throne of the queen of the gods out of the church. Let us gather, my sister. God has given us strategies. We need to gather and pray and go out. No, 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 no. These women are going to hell. They are not going to any heaven. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Heaven, the Bible said that. No. No. He said, oh. The, you know, my sister. No uncleanness. Not iniquity will enter the kingdom of God. No iniquity. Not even a dot of dirty. Enter the kingdom of God. Watch. <laughs> My sister, look at. I am not judging the particular woman. I am judging the, 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 the devil that has entered the church. The spirit that, has, that's, that is in the church today. These women are children of God and we need to tell them the truth. They don't know the truth. It is time that we begin to tell them the truth. How can, look at, from the hair to do. The hair is fine. Women, they don't even cover the hair. There is earrings, makeup all over the body. Women are dressing anyhow. See the woman. Oh Lord. Oh, the 
what it is supposed to be a leap in the temple of God. Women preaching. See fake hair. Put it. Oh. This is not different from a pop. Women bleaching their skin. Putting on river. Fake hair. There's no fear of God in the church again. Pastors are the one encouraging this. If they can, the choir allow this kind of people to sing in the church. How? They're not preaching against it. That's why they were fighting me, my sister. I will come out. They begin to fight me. They say, shut up. Shut up. Nobody was preaching this message. But I thank God today. I'm no more alone. I'm continuing this job. She did not take away my job, my, my, my breath. Women, they must be delivered. We must be delivered in the name of Jesus. We are going to expose all the trick of the enemy. Hallelujah. It is that women. Let's stand up. Let's wake up. Nigeria. Let us watch this. Let us watch this. It's, it's, it's everywhere. The sicknesses are gone everywhere. There's a country in Africa now. If they, I think it's Uganda or somewhere in Africa. If they see a woman, the, the, the president says that no more short skirts. I will show you one video here. We thank God because we told the Lord that even if the church don't want to change, God will touch the, God, the, the people outside. The truth must be known. The truth must be known. It is too much. Satan is not the one that created the, the earth. But the way is is manipulated, manipulated, and human is the woman as is the number one target of Satan. Let's watch. Watch what is going on in Nigeria. Let's watch. <laughs> Satan 
has sent his agents. The church is polluted. People are living in adultery. This is a church. It's not a club. It's a church. It's a church. What? What? Indecent dressing to church is no longer news, especially in our country, Nigeria, where moral has been taken in high esteem. Today in various churches, ladies dress the way they like in all manner of designs thereby exposing either their cleavages or their thigh all in the name of dressing and the next thing you hear is it is not the body that matters but the mind. Believe it or not, they cause many to derail in thoughts during service and you never can tell, because pastor Ah, uh, it's fast. Let's, let us start again. Let us start again. All over again. We are not rushing. Watch. Jesus, oh, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you, Lord. I miss you. Indecent dressing to church is no longer news, especially in our country, Nigeria, where moral has been taken in high esteem. Today, in various churches, ladies dress the way they like in all manner of designs, thereby exposing either their cleavages or their thigh all in the name of dressing. And the next thing you hear is it is not the body that matters, but the mind. That's, that is what, is it? They will say, it is not the body that matters, but the mind. Who told you that? Who told you? Let's open the Bible in 1 Corinthians. The, 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 the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, 20. It says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not your own? I read again. For you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. Let's go back to um, uh, uh, Matthew chapter, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse, uh, verse 16. I read in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Know you not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? And if any man defy the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. You are the temple. You are the temple. You, all of you, when I mean you, if I say you, it means the body, the soul and spirit. Me, I am speaking to you today. If my spirit is not in me, I'm nobody, I'm nothing, I would, uh, it means that I'm dead. So the body is nothing without the soul, without the spirit. Three of them goes together. So when the Bible says you, it means you, you, but the body, you, the soul, you, the spirit. You cannot say God, one, say me, only my heart. No, you are incomplete. You are incomplete if it's you are only the heart. So what, what are you doing with your body? The body is not your own. The Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19, it said you are not your own. You belong to God. You own God. You own, you own God yourself. You are there to serve God. Your body is to please God. Your soul is to please God. Your spirit is to please God. So before you put on anything, make sure that God agree. You see? So, the, the devil, you see, Satan is coming here. Eh? Satan, he, he knows the Bible. He knows where to get you. He knows where to get you. He, that is why when he appeared in the, in, in, the, in the wilderness, he wanted to tempt Jesus. He used the Bible to tempt Jesus. Thank God, God, Jesus knew the word of God. So when Satan will come and say, God does not look at the appearance. So that is the license to, 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 to dress ungodly. Let's continue. Believe it or not, they cause many to derail in thoughts during service and you never can tell, because pastors too are human. Looking at this trend, in years to come the situation might worsen as there may be no distinction between club girls and the sisters. Though many churches now preach about prosperity, yet there are some churches that still preach salvation like, Deeper Life Bible Church, Mountain of Fire. The redeemed Christian Church of God whose general overseer has banned females from wearing trousers to church and Christ living apost. Sorry. They say there's still church. If that is all time, mountain of fire, they don't, there is just in Africa. The mountain of fire that not here in Europe. It is not the mountain of fire. There is no change. There is no change. The mountain of fire here in Europe. 
not it is it is not different from the regime. Regime has the, they have the, they have gone astray. We have to tell the truth. They have gone astray. If me, I am the GO of regime, I will not see this thing and stop and and and, and, and leave it like this. Pastors, where I sit, that they are the boy. Women, pastor, women, they are wearing wig, they are wearing earrings, and they are praising God. They will say only God service. Holy God service. Holy God service is just blessing. Blessing today is your today. Who is going to stand and tell the women that change? I am coming to tell you people change. Repent. No. It is only they will say it maybe once a year. And they will not say it in a way. They will say it like that. Because they are afraid people will leave the church. Who is going to stand? That is why I'm calling the women. We should not wait on men. No. We should not wait on men. The queen of the cross said. If. We want her to go. We the women are the one. Woman matter is between women. We have we have to confront that devilish woman in the church. I am telling you, if we are waiting for men to do this thing, they will not do it. They will not do it. They will not do it properly. They will not do it. The Bible says in that Matthew chapter. Let me explain again very well. Matthew chapter five, verse twenty. Oh my Jesus. Oh, God have mercy upon the church. God have mercy upon the church. Yes, Matthew chapter verse 27. Matthew, Matthew chapter 5 verse 27. Sorry, I'm going fast. Um, I This thing had made me, I don't know how to explain again. I don't know what language I must use again. I'm, I don't know for, for women to understand that these things are ungodly. Worldliness and godliness no, doesn't work together. Let's read verse 27. You have heard that it was said by them of old. That shall not commit adultery. This is the Lord talking. You've heard that before. They say that shall not commit adultery. But let me explain to you what is adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever look, at, look on a woman to lust after her had committed adultery with her already in his heart. Aha. It means that both the pastor, the brother, the person that is looking at you, the woman, you, between you, you have the pastor of committed adultery, you too, the woman you have committed adultery with him. Because it is because of you that he committed adultery. And, and he was committing adultery with you. It's because he saw you. That image in his heart, he will masturbate because of that image. He will commit adultery in his heart because of, of you. Woman. Hey, when Jesus will come. Oh. The day of rapture. I tell I said the day of rapture. I don't want to be there to see how people will be many Christians who will go and beat pastors. You should tell us the truth. You should tell us the truth. They will beat them very they will beat them very well. I don't want to. I, I don't want to be there to see that. Hey! And this thing, they say God does not look at it. Let's continue. This are this I don't even know which channel. Somebody on YouTube, they just they, is this thing everybody knows already. They know churches today, they just preach uh prosperity, all shall be all, all, all shall be well. It shall be well. You will have your paper in six months, you will have your husband in six months, you will have your children, all shall be well. Hallelujah, everybody, amen. Living in in in, in, in a life of in filthiness. And all they are interested to see the crowd. Crowd, when they see crowd, when they put music, boom, 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 they think that God is in the midst of crowd. God is in the midst of, of, of noise. You cannot bribe God with your noise. You cannot bribe God with your with your crowd, with your multitude. God is not there. The Bible said that when two or three are gathered, he is there in the abyss. If there is only one lot in the whole Sodom and Gomorrah, the Lord Jesus Christ will come and deliver only that lot. God is not coming for the multitude. Do not open my eyes. He told me, say, he's not interested on multitude. So you are following multitude. The Bible said that don't follow the multitude to, to do evil. Yes. The, the blood way. The multitude. The multitude. The multitude. And the one that is speaking the truth, you are running away from it. May the Lord have mercy. Let's continue to wash the state of the church. Dirt in the church. See the way women are dressing. The question now is, who should be blamed? Is it all about evolving trends and should it be extended to the church? If emphasis is laid on dressing, won't the church lose its members? These are questions begging for answers. They are cause, they, 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 members now. It's all about members. It's not more. It's not about God again. 
They don't care whether that the people are going to have fire. My sister, please up. The pastor, they don't care about you. If you go to hell, it's not their business. It's not their business. They, what they want is for you to come so that you will put offering and tithe. And that offering and tithe will help them to buy your house. Well, I'm, I'm not against offering and tithe. We pay tithe. Every child of God must pay tithe. But make sure that you pay your tithe in a church that you know that that money will have for the gospel, will, will, for good thing. Don't go. Many people are paying tithe that are going to hell fire. Paying tithe, my sister, paying tithe is not what will bring you to heaven. It is holiness. It is when you are living in holiness that your tithe and offering will have value. So let me tell you, one day I was going to one church. I will call the name. The church is the Samson Yorinde. The pastor's name is Depo. Yeah, you know, I need to tell the name because that where we are living now is too much. People are going to have fire. The pastor's name is uh, this is Depo. Uh, in this church, they ask money, 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 money. If you want deliverance, you must give too much money. So me, I didn't have money. And I needed deliverance. I was born again, just got born again. Thank God for the Holy Spirit of, of God that was leading me. He knew my heart. I'm not after, after money. If I want money, I will go back to the club. I was a singer in the pop clubs. I was singing in Cameroon, Cameroon, Holland, Holland, Paris, Paris Islands. They know me in Biaba here. So, my sister, when I gave my life to Jesus, I stopped all those things. So, so when I, I, I stopped it, I have to live normal like any human being. I have to be contented with the little one God have give, gave to me. Even if it's 20 euro, I will, I will know how to manage that 20 euro and feed myself and be okay with it as far as I make heaven. So in this church, they will ask people, they will begin to preach. 50, 50 euro is like market. It's like marketplace. 50 euro. 50 euro. Okay, 100, 100 euro. 100 euro. 100 euro, 100 euro, you see, people, someone, okay, 200, 200, give, 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 so, so is it, so is it, so is it, you shall be blessed, 200, yes, 500, it's like auction, the way they auction houses, it's not different, Satan is sitting in the church, the church is dirty, God allow me to go in this place to see, uh, 100 euro, 500, Yes, yes, 1,000, praise the Lord, 2,000, yeah, 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 yeah. They like it. If you give like 5,000, they will love you. So me, I was that, no money. Now, I, I was crying before God. I said, God, is that you? My spirit was grieved. Then the Lord said to me, call Dapo. Ask him one question. If he say yes, you leave the church. Then if he say no, you stay in the church. The question was, the question the Lord gave, asked, gave, asked me to give. He said, call him. He said, sir, since I've been coming to church, I've not been able to sow a seed and I need deliverance. And the only money I used to get, it was when I was going to pub. Should I go to pub and pick the money there and come and give to the church? Or should I leave it and wait on God's time? He said, yes. Go to pop. Go to pop. God knows that your heart is not there. Just go and sing. When you become famous, then you will convert that music to Christian. I, I said, sir, I thought I can stay like this and wait. He said, no, no, no. It's not a sin to sing secular music. Then when he spoke, I just hung on the phone. I said, thank you. Bye-bye. I don't want to go to hell. Pastor sending people to hell. These churches, let me tell you, my sister, they will quote the name of Jesus, they will quote some Bible verses, the Bible verses to support their greediness. They open these churches for their belly, not for God. Get out from these churches. Look at the church. It filled up. It's not only in Nigeria, even in Cameroon, all over the world, in Europe, in America. They just change, they just change uh, strategies. They change strategies. In every country, set and have different strategies. You understand? Makeup, Christian wearing makeup in the church. Makeup wearing a. Uh, uh, what is the difference between you and a child of a uh, 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 somebody that doesn't know Christ? What is the difference? There's no difference. 
I always tell my fellow sisters, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 15, verse, uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 15, let me read. It says, For without adults, sorcerers, warmongers, murderers, idolaters, and whosoever love and make it a lie, whosoever, who, 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 so ever love and make it a lie. When you love to lie, you are a liar. When you, you, you make a lie, you are a liar. There is a dif difference between uh, love to lie and make a lie. Now, the people that are making a lie, number one, bleach, people that bleach their skin. Look at me now. This is my color. And then, after three, three, three days, I become like this palm, like this. Let's say my color become white, like this. I made a lie. I, I made, I fabricate a lie. I am giving an image that is not me. I am giving a false impression. It is not me. It is a lie. All the people that are bleeding are liars. Number two. All the people that are making up are liars. They make a lie. They give an image, a false image of them. That is why you will hear a woman who say, wait till I'm putting on a face. They will take away the natural face. They will put it, put in a way, put, put on the, on the, the false image. They will begin to, to change, uh, uh, put on makeup. You know, the makeup, instead to be natural, they will become unnatural. They will look like demons. They will begin to, to, to put on makeup on their faces. Their face will no longer look like the real them. Their face will no longer look like the real them. They will look like mami wata. They will look like demons. They will look like a, a prostitute. The Bible says in, in Proverbs chapter 7, um, verse 10, Let's read. Hallelujah. I read. 7 verse 10. It says, Behold, there met a woman with the attire of an alot and sorted of heart. The woman with the attire of an alot. Attire. The appearance. You that say that God does not look at the appearance. Say, the woman with the attire of alot. The appearance. The body look like alot. You cannot be. Maybe. Maybe you are not an alot, but the fact that you, you, you are putting on the attire of an alot, you make up, you put on all those things you people put here, here, like this. You, 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 you some people will go and do surgery. Instead, of, they don't look natural like my own. They will go and do, they don't, they, they don't look like this. They will go and put on earring. They will go and put on ungodly dresses. The worst thing is that in the church, women wear trousers. Outside the church, they wear trousers. I'm telling you, whether you are wearing trousers inside, outside, it's the same thing. Inside the church, you make people to fall. Outside the church, you make people to fall. When, how long this is? See, jean trousers. See, look at all the private part is outside. The vagina is outside. Look at it. Everything is designed. Everything. My sister, this is too much. It's too much. It's too much. This is what Satan wants us to look like. This is, and you are seeing in the church, women are dressing like that. The queen of the coast is sitting in the church. Enough is enough. The reason why I call today, so that we, the women, we must stand. Are you happy to see these things, my sister? Are you happy to see how Satan is, is de destroying women? They are going to hell? Even the Arab people, the, 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 the Muslim, in um in the Emirate uh, countries, they say no hot pants, no hot pants because some women come in there, they will be dressing anyhow. You see, no hot pants, Emirate women, you know. But we, the children of God, we, the children of God, we that knew that know the truth, we need to stand up so that this judgment will not stand against us. We know the truth and we stand. We don't. We don't. Do, we don't say the truth. The Queen of the Court said for. I had to leave the church. We are the one. We need to stand. It's stand that we stand. Now let us, even the Lagos state government ban on this. 
Okay, let us watch this one. Let us watch this one. On decent clothes, women, Satan has, is using women like toy today. Please, it is time we stand up and we fight against the queen of the court in the church. And the women, all the women, come out from your hiding place, hiding place. Please let us gather together and pray. This is not a small matter. This is not a small matter. Satan is misusing women now. Look at this one. Look at this one. Let's let's watch. So the Lagos State Government ban on all forms of dresses that exposes the breast. Let, 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 Reacting let. to the Lagos State Government ban on all forms of dresses that exposes the breast and other sensitive parts of the female body. Hey, women! 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 Women have become toy for the enemy. The enemy, no, the enemy number one of Satan is women. And it's inside the church. Others with divergent Look at dress. Kicked against the ban. Short, short skirt. Short. See, see. This is how the women were dressing the church now. I think it's a welcome development. And we, the children, we, the parents, should show example to the people, to the children, to our husband said. So as a married woman, she be able to dress this set, so that people. Will not only married women, married on a non married single, we should marry as uh, we should we should dress godly. We should dress godly. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We should not put on even earrings. We should not put on, on look natural like the way God created you. Look at the way me am shining. Am I not beautiful? It is not these things that we are putting on our face, all these uh, earrings, all this makeup that will make us beautiful. That is a fake beauty. That is the fake artificial beauty. You were made at the image of God. Therefore, you must look like God. Let people see God in you. Godliness. But today, Look at the woman. That you are married. As a young lady, I would invite all young ladies to dress well. Because exposing your body is not really good. Some clergymen who commended the Lagos State government's ban on all forms of dresses that exposes the breast and other sensitive parts of oh, the female body said the ban will make women more responsible in their fashion. As a Christian, you dress to wear. Dressed the way you will be addressed. You must dress and cover your body, not to be half naked. The scene you are seeing today, the majority, the purpose of this scene are from ladies. It is not on the Christian perspective that he just did it because it's... See, they are saying this. They don't, look, all these are talk. All these are talk, talk, talk. Because that is what they are saying. Oh, ladies, if you were preaching it, hammer on it. Tell them that they are going to hell. Why is it that... And if you go to these churches, you will see women wearing trousers. And you will see women with makeup. You will see women with earrings. Little tiny. The Lord told me that even if the, the earring is tiny, you will send the woman to wear fire. All these things are idle. I don't want to go deep, deep, deep today. Because go to my videos. You will see, you, you will watch them. Jewelries are idols. Those are idols. All those things are idols. They are not from God. The Spirit of God can never push somebody to go and wear all those things. Now, those clergy, this pastor, great, great bishop, bishop, they are saying that we should not wear it, but in the church, do they preach against it? Do they emphasize against it? No! And they, they, they say, Christian, my, my sister, any child of God, you call yourself child of God, when in the church, dress modest. When I say modest, no makeup, no fake hair. You tie your hair when you are in the presence of God. No attachment, no palming, you don't palm your hair, no bleaching, no lipstick, no makeup, no earrings, no trousers when you dress, dress good. Put flowing garment, not a garment that will not a dress that will design your shape. Dress well so that God will be happy. We are not dressing to attract any person. We are dressing to please the Lord. Yes. So let us let's listen to them. The governor, well, he, he don't have right to have done that because uh, everybody who ties shoes know where the shoe the shoe is aching him out, raping and raping. And you see what the, our little daughters, our little children are wearing now. You will see that raping cannot stop until such dressings, such indecent dressing, is bound in a do state. Alice Park. A legal practitioner, ma. It is not the, my sister. I'm telling you this thing. Uh, it is not flesh and blood. 
that will fight the Satan in the city. <laughs> it's affecting even the people, ungodly people, the people that doesn't know Christ. Raping, all these things because women as Satan is sitting. Now we the women, the virtuous men, I'm calling you my sister. Come. Contact me, says Mommy Claire. Sister Claire, my sister. It's time we join. We are creating group of women in every country, group of prayer. We are praying for the queen of the cause to step down. She must leave the church. So if truly a woman you have been changed inwardly and outwardly. If you sit down and watch how Satan is destroying, what Satan destroys women, and you don't do anything, it means that you are you are you are you are you are with Satan. It means that you are happy the way people the women are perishing. But if you stand and let us work together, because the Bible said that two are better than one. Let us come together, pray, and fight the queen of the coast. We are praying, my sister. We are forming. Group, group, group. We call it virtuous women Shilo group. Prayer. We pray one, one, one hour. Each group pray one hour. You finish another group. You finish another group. You finish another group. We must pray until the, the, the church, until that woman, that devilish woman, come out from the church. That spirit dies in the church in the name of Jesus. It's because by the grace of God, something happened since that 2011. When the thing began to go, the Lord took the message, went to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. The thing began to go, begin to go, begin to go, begin to go. It's now God, the Spirit of God is touching people. But we need repentance because many people have removed it, but they have not buried it. Let's open the Bible in Genesis chapter 30, uh, 35. What happened? 35. Verse 1 to 4, I read it. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel and dwell there. Make there an altar unto God that appear unto thee when thou fledest from the face of Esau. Verse 2, Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, Put away the strange God that among you and be clean. Change your garment and let us arise and go up to Bethel and I will make thee an altar unto God who answered me in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which I went. Verse 4. This is where I want to emphasize. And they gave up. They gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hands and all the earrings which were in their ear. And Jacob hid them under the oak which was by session. The strange god means all the idols. The idol, I told you, idols are earrings. Let's open um, our jewelries. Let's open Isaiah chapter 31, verse, verse 7 to 8. I read in Jesus' name. The Bible says that, For in that day every man shall cast away his idol of silver, his idol of gold, which your own hands have made unto you for a sin. You see, all those idols. You see, and, he, uh, and here in Je Je Genesis chapter 35, you know, when God told Jacob to arise and go up to Bethel, so he can worship him there. Then Jacob told now the people from his house, he said, look, put away the strange God. And among the strange God, there were earrings, all kind of earrings, big size, small size, various, various ones, different kind of earrings, bracelets, anchor chain, a neck, necklace, earrings, nose rings, uh, uh, two rings, uh, uh, finger rings, uh, uh, wedding rings, all this one, the one they put in the tongue, the one they put, all of them are strange God. They put them away. They gave it to, to, to Jacob and Jacob hides them under the, 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 the uh, under, under a tree. You see? So many people today, they are taking up, they will take up the, the earring, they will take up this just to go to church. After church, they will put it, put it back. You have not repented. How can you repent in the morning? In the night, you go back to sin again. You have not repented. Repentance means that you repent and you, 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 you change your way. And the Bible says in that, in verse 2, Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the strange God that are among you, and be clean. Change your garment. The changing of garment, my sister, it has a very big meaning. If now, the way I used to dress like a prostitute, 
when I come to Christ, I change from my heart. I confess my sin. If I used to, to insult, I insult no more. Now, if I used to dress like a prostitute, I must dress now like a child of God. The change of garment has a big meaning in the Christendom. How can you say that you are a child of God and you dress like this? And maybe this woman is a born again. Maybe she's coming out from Redeemed Church. Maybe she's coming out from all those uh, uh, winners' chapel. That is how they dress now. So-called Christian, they dress like this. They dress like this. You saw the choir, the way the choir were dressed, they were dressed like this. So, Jacob, he knew that he was going to, to enter the presence of God. And when you enter the presence of God, you cannot dress like this. And we children of God, we must be in the permanent presence of God. Jesus can come when you are in your room. Jesus can come when you are in the kitchen. Jesus can come when you are in the church, in, on the street, like these people in, on the street. Jesus can come there. Therefore, you must be ready in, a, a, in all, you know, must be ready every time. Death can come while you are on your way. You must be ready. We children of God, it is time. Either we are with God, either we are not with God. Either you are in the light, either you are in the darkness. Don't play uh, uh, hypocrisy. Hypocrite Christian, they will not enter the kingdom of God. Anybody that serves God, 99% is, is an hypocrite Christian. Unless you serve God 100%. You are not a child of God. I'm telling you, your righteousness is a filthy rack. It's true. But the, I'm telling you, my sister, it is time we change. You see, my tattoo, I didn't even I was in the world. I asked God to forgive me. I asked God to forgive me. And I will never do tattoo again in my life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm against tattoo. I'm against all these people that are doing those things. I'm against it. My sister, either you are a child of God, either you are not a child of God. So, let's continue. See, that is the said Nigeria. Look at, this is how, you see, this is how the women were dressing now. The video we watch now, the, the choir. That is how they were dressing and they're calling Ooh, ah, the fanase, Jehovah, the fanase. Ooh, ah, the fanase. You are the fanase. Jehovah who have the fanase in the day of judgment. Yes, when you will open the Bible, we will ask you, did you obey my word? Then he will have the fanase. God have mercy upon us. God have mercy upon the women. The Constitution does not stipulate dress code the right to dress is a fundamental and inalienable right of all human beings and if you are not choosing and picking what they should put on and what they shouldn't put on and by your own standard you consider what they are wearing indecent the question is what standard are you are you adopting what, who made you the, the the judge over what should be worn and what should not be worn rosalie you see these people don't my sister don't mind these people. Look, look, a child, the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, it says, In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefastness and sobriety, not with braided hair or gold or pills or costly array, but which become women professing godliness with good works. You see, not with braided hair. God is talking about a, a, a here ungodly worldliness in, in the hair worldliness in the hair the plaiting of the hair you understand so women they will, they will leave their natural hair they will go and add something else another kind of hair that will compete with the natural hair that God has given worldliness in the hair worldliness in her, her do. the Bible says in First John chapter 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 2, verse 15. Let's, let's read. God have mercy. The book of 1 John. 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. I read in the name of Jesus. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 
For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the, the and pride of life. I want to, I am, I am like this. It is not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world passed away. And the lost thereof. But ye that doeth the will of God abide forever. My sister, worldliness will lead you to hell fire. If they don't tell you this, I am telling you the truth. Worldliness in the hell. Hell do. They will, they will live, they will live, that, take, destroy the natural hell. Hey? Don't you know that that natural hell is your glory? You will go and tamper with the glory of God and, and, and put palm in, palm in hell. Because you want your hair to look like a, 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 a Beyonce. Your hair to look like a, 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 another kind of race. But can't you maintain your race? Your natural given God-given color? Your natural God-given hair? You go and tamper with it. You go and put relaxer. You jelly call it. It is a sin, my sister. It is tampering with, with the creation of God. Insulting God. It is a sin. I am here today to warn you. All these braids you are doing your hair. You take fake hair, you add in your hair. It is a sin. 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 You are making a lie. You are giving a false image of you. A false image of your hair. Which is not real. Use your natural hair. Weave your natural hair. Don't add anything like fake hair. Don't, don't palm your hair. Yes. And the women that are wearing thread, those shining, shining thread, it's not good. Look for the thread, natural thread, the thread that will just hold, hold, hold like this. All this shiny, shining thread that you look like, it, 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 you, it, and you begin to do, uh, uh, use it as if you are using hair attachment. It look ungodly. It look worldly. It is not godly. It is not godly. The hair must be natural. Let us stop all these things, my sister. You see? See the way the, the devil have transformed women. Even in the music, we, 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 we see, this is Cameroon, Cameroonian musician. Even in Cameroon, it's not only Nigeria. It's not, it's not only Nigeria. Look at, look at them. Look at them. Cameroonian Nigeria. Uh, Cameroonian musician. Look, look at them. Satan, the spirit is everywhere. The spirit is everywhere. Destroy you women. Destroy women. Satan wants to make sure that woman, because we are the one that gave birth to, 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 uh, 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 to the, uh, 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 Jesus. Women, and we are still giving birth to servants of God. That he has made up his mind to destroy women. The devil will use women to do advert, to do ungodly music. Woman, 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 woman. All these things, we have to stop. My sister, if this message has touched you, and you know that this is true, my sister, let us gather together. I'm calling all the virtuous women. I'm calling her. I've been calling her. Some people will come and say, Amen. You say, Amen, and you don't do anything. Amen, say, so shall it be. You see, Amen, and you write, you sit, and, and, you, say, and you do nothing. After watching the video, amen, and you are not doing anything, it means that you are you are you are hypocrite. Let the let all the women come together, and let us fight the queen of the coast. We need to sit down and see how we can do. Jesus, the hope of Jesus is on us. When God changed you, you don't need to go and sit down in the house. You must go out and preach. You must let, let us gather together and sit down. Let God lead us the way we can destroy the plans of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Yes. Let's watch another video again. This is another video. Oh God, have mercy. Let's stay in the coast, but head to Kilifi, where wearing a mini skirt could soon be a crime. A new bill in the county assembly is seeking to outlaw short skirts and dresses, as well as tight trousers for men. Betty Kiala reports on the move that has already sparked off a heated debate. <laughs> it's a piece of legislation that could change the face of the tourist town of Kilifi. 
Renson Carissa Candy proposes a bill that will prohibit women from wearing miniskirts, tight trousers, and clothes exposing excessive flesh in the coastal town. Mimi nashindwa na mavazi ambayo ukifika kutoka ukiingia Malindi Lamrod, ukiingia Watamu, eri ya Marereni Mlangilangi, yale mavazi ambayo yanaendelea na hana heshima. Mtu anaenda kwa ofisi amevaa mini skirt ambazo sehemu zake za siri zote ziko nje amevaa top top yake ni zile ambazo wewe wanaita don't touch my stomach Kami cites what he calls the deterioration of conservative African culture arguing that indecent dressing is largely contributed to immoral behavior leading to an increase in early pregnancies among the youth Umeingia kwa mkahawa ama umeingia kwa supermarket ama umeingia kwa soko ume uko na bibi yako ama uko na mkuu wako ama hata kama uko na babako uko na mamako ni jambo la kushikitisha ukiona mtu anatembea sehemu zake za siri zote ziko nje ile heshima imepotea unaona ya kwamba hata wewe ambaye unatembea unakosa kujua Yani un, 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 unakosa ile heshima ambayo unaweza tembea wewe na, na wazazi wako. The bill does not only center around women's dressing but also aims at barring men from wearing tight trousers and shirts that expose their chests. Hmm. Pajalote liko nje. Hasa ile ni aibu hata mbele umeitwa na wazee wako huwezi kuenda bila ulivyo kwa sababu uh, humanity because, because of women. Mapaji yako wazi. Sisi kama wazee tunakosa hata mali ya kuangalia. Unaona watoto ni watoto wetu wakipita hata tuna tunaangusha macho chini. Already Kambi has garnered support from other members of the county assembly who say this could be the only way to restore dignity in the town. Motion is currently under scrutiny by our legal department and uh, soon I'm, I'm able to advise the, be, be advised if the same contravenes the constitution then I will be inclined to even allow it to go to the house for debate. However, critics say the bill could be discriminatory as stories who don the taboo clothes may not be subjected to the proposed law. If the bill garners a majority in the county assembly, it will be passed to Kilifi Governor Amazon King, who may sign it into law or reject it. Betty Kialo, KTN. Hmm. Hey, my sister. This are, you see, we the women, virtuous women, we must do, we must do something. We must do something. God, the hope of Christ is in us. The Lord is sitting on his throne waiting for us, the virtuous women, to do something. After knowing the truth, we must not stop. Satan is using women to destroy the whole nation. To destroy the whole earth. And we the virtuous women will not stand like this. When I mean virtuous women, I mean a true child of God that have changed in and out. You and you have been trying to do this on your own. You cannot do it alone. The Bible said that two are better than one. That is why we are creating, we are forming, forming group. For instance, if there in America, in Washington, there is maybe five virtuous women. The five virtuous women they will gather in that for that city of Washington in prayer, in prayer. And evangelism telling women, we have tracks. Warning from God to all women. Yes. So if they are virtuous women, God has made everything available. It just it just you, sister, to stand. To stand. This is a different ministry for any kind of ministry. It is not, we are not comparing ourselves with other, but we are here to, to make sure that this warning go all over the world. This warning for all the women. If truly you have been transformed through this warning, if truly you know that this warning is coming from God, let us gather together and fight the queen of the cross in the church. Yes. I want the, where are the virtuous women? Where are they? Let's gather, we gather, we gather, and we begin to fight the queen of the cross. It is too much. The church today, now, now, I'm going to show you some virtuous women. This one that have they, they, they came out. They came out. And I want you to join them. It's too much. Pastor will not do this for, for us. The queen of the God said that we the women, we are the one. Pastor will not do that for us. We are the women that we 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 dethrone, remove the queen of the God in the church. And in prayer, we need to come together and be prayerful.
Hallelujah. My sister, let's wake up. Let's wake up. For the sake of the kingdom of God, let's wake up. Let's wake up. I want you to listen to. See, 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 pastors. Are they, do you think these are the people that will take away the kingdom, the kingdom of God in the church? Watch yourself. Watch this yourself. Pastor wife, the way they are dressing my sister. The way they are dressing. You think that you are waiting for them to convert. Then they will begin to preach what we are preaching, what we are doing. Why people are going to hell. You are the one God wants to use, my sister. Let us come together and work together. Hallelujah. Two are better than one. Watch this video. There's a brand new show on TLC called The Sisterhood. It's a reality-based show, and the topic is a little different from what we're used to. In the church world, a pastor's wife is called the first lady. Those are pastor wife. See the way they're dressing. Look at them. See, they are the one promoting even the queen of the cross in the church. So you think, my sister, if we don't stand and do something, these women are not the one that will come and do this. So we are the one that will do it. If you have changed, let us stand and destroy the queen of the coast. See, look at the pastor wife. You do good. Give me a good. When you're married to a pastor, you're held to a higher standard. Oh, the sisterhood. If you are married a pastor, you are you are living a, a, a high standard. Look. It is all about the lives of pastors. You see, look at the wife of pastor, the way they dress. Virtuous women. Let's stand up. I'm crying, I'm crying, let's stand up. Watch. Wives, known as first ladies. A first lady has to appear perfect because she sets the standard for the congregation. So for you, it's perfection? Is this perfection? Is this perfection you are promoting? The, 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 the apparel of the queen of the cross in the church? Look at the way, that body is not for you. The body is for the, if it is, is the temple of Christ. When they look at you, they must see the glory of God, not worldliness. This is this is what we are against, my sister. This is why, why women are going to hell. This is why women are going to hell. Let us stand a virtuous woman in Christ. Wherever you are hiding, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Look at. What if you pull back the curtain and see us for who we truly are? You'll be shocked. It's a different take on the whole Real Housewives series that we're so used to. Right. And the trash of those shows. It's very difficult to be a first lady. Very difficult. Right this minute via Skype from Georgia, we have Tara Lewis, one of the first ladies. Welcome to the show, Tara. Thank you for having me. What made you agree to do a show like this? Because this is really putting everything out there for hey, everyone Pastor to White. see. I was willing to share how we can go through things and struggles and find God in them and that it would help someone else. You hope to stay out of the reality show drama? Oh my God, how I wish that were true. <laughs> Tell the devil he's a liar! What is wrong with you? I had hoped for all of us coming together that we wouldn't display the same behavior, that we would this in fact show this women a different way. You're gonna do it your way? I'm gonna do it my way. I'm sorry to say that you will see some contention and strife and maybe in it, it is handled somewhat different from what you've seen on the other shows. Pastor wife, pastor no, wife, no, pastor there's wife. There's uh, some controversy Where is holiness? already surrounding the show. I'm sure you've probably heard about it. A woman has started a Where petition is to get the show pulled off the air because she thinks it's offensive to Christians. Oh my God, she is part correct. Unfortunately, uh, we get to look into some uh, areas of our lives that we battle each other. That's what's hurting other Christians. Is that a Christian? A Christian, the Bible said that you shall know them by their fruit. Christian is not a title. It's not a name. If you are a child of God, they see it in your character. Your, the, the, the way you dress, anything about you must glorify God. A child of God. A woman, there must be a difference between Delilah and, and Deborah. There must be a difference between the light and darkness, period. If you are a child of God, you must look like a child of God. You cannot look like, like Jezebel and you say you are a child of God, a pastor. Oh, 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 this must stop. This must yeah, stop. They thought they were going to get to see something. 
that was really going to edify them, that was really going to be uplifting. You can't pick and choose like the most important want to see. In the Pastor, why you calling first ladies? It wouldn't be real now, would it? The sisterhood airs on. The sisterhood, sisterhood. My, you see, the day I watched this, I cry. I was crying. Now I want to show you virtuous women. Some virtuous women. I, 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 I will show you some picture by the grace of God. I need to show you the picture of the virtuous women, one by one. This is one virtuous woman. Her name is um, Sister Marie Tampo. She's in England. She used to bleach her skin. If you see her picture before, I don't have it here. She, she has changed. She has changed completely. Then I will show you another virtuous woman. This is a virtuous woman. She's a sister Joy Ikimere. She lives in, in Scotland. She used to dress like, like on God before. But when she learned, she saw, she heard this message and the Lord transformed her. This is an, a, another one. One of her uh, uh, sister. She has changed completely. Hallelujah. Those are the virtuous women. Those are the virtuous women. Today, they are there to, to tell people that this message is truth. If you want to come to Christ, you give him everything and you, you must dress like a child of God. Yes, this is the truth. Another virtuous woman. Another virtuous look at Look at the beauty, natural beauty. Natural beauty, my sister. You cannot compare this kind of beauty with that fake beauty you are seeing. Women are dressing like a de demon. It, it, you cannot compare it. This is day and, and, and night. So this is virtuous woman. Another virtuous woman. This is another virtuous woman, my sister. We don't, no makeup. You see, the, the, the beauty is there. You see, the natural beauty. Eh? The body belongs to Jesus. The, 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 you, you can smell Jesus. Eh? She has given her life to, to Jesus in the heart. Even now sight is for Jesus. This is what they call Christian. It is not the... the, 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 the oh, my sister. Uh, another virtuous man I want to show to you. Another virtuous man I want to show to you. There are many. There are many of them. Many of them. Another one. This is Sister Selena from, from Mexico. Such a beautiful sister. Look at... Look, look. Look at, look at beauty. Look at the beauty. Can you compare this beauty with the fake beauty you are seeing outside? This is day and night, my dear. The beauty of God. The holiness of God. Yes. This is what they call natural beauty. Not with braided hair. Not with uh, 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 jewelries. Not with uh, 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 lipstick. I will, give, I will show you another virtue. This is another virtue to me. And not that virtuous man. No makeup, no powder in the face, no, no lipstick, no earrings, no trousers. The way we dress, my sister, we dress holy. I mean, we dress holy, holiness in and out, holiness in and out. I will show you another virtuous man. Another virtuous man. This is another virtuous man. This is another virtuous man. Sister Stella from, uh, from London. Stella Unam from London. I'm telling you, my sister. These people, their life have been changed. After listening to the warning from God to all women, they change and they are serving God. They are, they are happy. I, 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 one day they will give their testimony. They are happy to say, yes, now I am serving Jesus. So these are virtuous women, my sister. These are virtuous women. There are many of them. Many, many of them. Many of them. Many of them. Many of them. This one is sister... She's Sister Shelda from uh, Flo, I think America. Yes! Black Americans, they are coming to Jesus. This woman was dressing before like, and I don't know. But today she has changed. Completely. Completely, my sister. The true beauty. The beauty of God without makeup. Without makeup. I want to show you another one. Another, another virtuous woman. This is another virtuous woman. Um, sister... Antonia from, uh, from Sister Antonia from uh, uh, Scotland. Another virtuous woman. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sisters. Hallelujah. And they are, they, are, they are happy, my sister. If you see them, oh, they are happy. Another virtuous woman. This is the winner of the, um, our uh, uh, the magazine that is coming this year. She's, be, she's going to be the cover. 
she uh, we did uh, something like a Bible memorizing, and she was the best. So she's the winner. Amen. Congratulations, my sister, Sister Vera from Brazil. I will show you another virtuous woman. You see the dress. You see the dress. There is you, 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 there is nothing that reveal the private part of a woman. Do you see any private part reveal here? She is a beautiful woman. A beautiful woman. The, 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 the genuine beauty. Eh? Let me show her. In, in, in You will see her again. This is, she's here. This is her. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Another beautiful sister. Another beautiful sister from London. Sister Douglas. Douglas, this is her. This is her. No makeup. No earrings. Yes. This is true beauty, my sister. I will show you another virtuous woman. There are many of them. I will spend days here to, to share the test. Many of them. Another virtuous woman. Sister Claudia. America. Sister Claudia for America. She has changed completely. Completely in and out. And she's happy after hearing the message, a uh, uh, warning from God, the Lord deliver another virtuous woman. Many of them from, from uh, Russia. The Lord has transformed this sister. And she's there praying with us. Hallelujah. There are many of them, many of them. I have another virtuous woman, Sister BC from, uh, from Russia. Hallelujah. This is it. She's here. Another virtuous woman. Many of them, many of them, many of them. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know where to start. Uh, uh, another virtuous woman, another virtuous woman. Sister Gloria Frank. Yes, many of them. They have changed, they have changed the, their way of dressing. And they are happy. Let me show you another virtuous woman. This woman, she's there, Chris, Sister Crystal. You understand? Oh, 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 oh. She even put up, put the picture together. You see? All church life, current church life. She has changed. She, uh, she is happy. She is happy. She is a virtuous woman. A virtuous woman in Christ. In and out, my sister. In and out. I want to show you another one. She's from uh, 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 South Africa. She, she, she lives in uh, South Africa. She's the Vanessa Clark. You see? She, joy of the Lord. She's so happy. She's happy. Oh, like, oh, my God. My God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is another virtuous woman. She's sewing off her new hair because she used to palm her hair before. She decided to keep her natural hair. No makeup. You see? The hair is natural. Another virtuous woman. There are many, many, many. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me show you another virtuous woman. Yeah. She's the Shedda again. Uh, she, she visited Nigeria. Ah, uh, she went to the Holiness River Movement. You see, oh, uh, she's so beautiful. You know, another one, she, she's another one. There are many, 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 many virtuous women. Where am I going to start? Where am I going to start? Another one, there are many of them. Many, many of them. Let me share with Sister Joy Bread. Sister Joy Bread. Sister Joy Bread. Many virtuous women. Many virtuous women. I don't know where to start. Look at them. They are all over the places. God has been changing them. That's why I say, my sister, let's gather together. Let's gather together. Let's gather together to, to fight the queen of the coast in prayer, my sister. Yes, you, we must not hide. We must not hide. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We must not hide, my sister. Look at uh, sister. Mm, mm, uh, 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 sister. Um, look at the, the skin. How the skin is glowing. Do you see any makeup here? There's no makeup here. There's no makeup. Hallelujah. There's one of my sister. I want to. Sister um, uh, uh, Famodun. Famodun. She just uh, share her uh, a picture on Facebook. I want to to show you the picture. Such a beautiful sister. Hallelujah. This is a picture. Ah, hallelujah. Another virtuous woman, my sister. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Beautiful to see a woman with that makeup. With that makeup. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, my sister. This is what I'm talking about. A woman with that jewelries. With and they've removed all their wedding ring because wedding ring is the same with earrings. There are many. If I begin to show to you, we are going to be here. Let me show you virtuous woman. The virtuous man, I'm telling you that we should join and pray together. Let me show you maybe five minutes of the prayer. You will see, you will experience the presence of God. Don't miss it. Oh. Be part of us. Hallelujah. Watch. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Christianity must be practical. You practice it. You practice. You, it, it must it must be in your bones. Holiness must be in your bones, in your body, in your soul, in your spirit. You must surrender all unto Jesus. I want to share with you. We finish with this song, the song that the Lord put in my eyes, in my heart. I surrender all to Jesus. I pray that after listening to this, after this video, your heart will be transformed. Your body must be transformed. Your soul will be transformed. Your spirit will be transformed. And you will join the virtuous women in Christ. The prayer group to this year is a year that all of us are coming together. We gather together in prayer. In, and we go out to share the warning from God to all women. All of us. If you are a virtuous woman, if you have been changed inwardly and outwardly, you join the virtuous woman. If you don't do anything, it means that you are supporting Satan. But if truly this message has changed you, come out. Let us go and save other sister, sister us out, out there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my sister. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord be with you. Do you that decide to join us to fight this battle? To chase away the king of the cost from the church. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will be with you from today and forevermore. And I pray this year shall be a year of practical holiness upon your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. My sister, as you listen to this video, shalom. God bless you, my sister, all over the world. All the children of God. Uh, as you know, my name is Claire Antonio Antongo. I just want to share with you this song that touched my heart. Each time I go before Lord, I think about this song. Because Jesus has done a lot in my life. Jesus has changed me. I just want you to listen to this song, to the words of this song. And I pray that as you are listening, Jesus is going to touch you today. You know, if you come to Christ, he's going to change the, your whole life. Me, I was a prostitute. People call me all sorts of names, but Jesus made me a brand new person. Hallelujah. So, he make impossible things to become possible. I pray, my sister, that as you are watching this, this video, you are watching, you are listening to this song, God is going to touch your heart. My advice to you, surrender all your life to Jesus. Everything. God bless you. Shalom.
Holy God. 